so let's look on how we can map it um, images to our terrains an example right here we have one terrain okay what I want to do I want to create one image and overlay maybe a road or trucks or anything over this the one thing I want to be sure if I use it full size of the map that my mapping mode set is object parametric next let's load it the mapped image it's what I want to do first so I'm going to open it okay, all right here icon we're going to preload it and because it's not in our library I want to open the browse to the folder okay so right here I have one image land example will open and this is will cover all precisely the terrain because it says to object parametric this is kind of very important the next what I want to do is overlay with a different object with a different image so let me change color okay, like right here we can preview a little bit easy I'm going to create a new layer be sure our environment all set properly alpha 100 switch to the mapped image we'll go again open and this time I will load it overlay so let's click OK do I want to have a transparency in this case yes so I want to use it link and I want to be sure right here notice it says world standard so I want to change this to object parametric okay if we switch to our camera top view on the camera right here you can see we actually have it at this display properly okay, let's open and look on a couple more optimizations what we need to do here one thing if we have it our um, default I want to show my interpolation set on binary because this is a JPEG image it is have some compressations and effect from JPEG so I want kind of fixing them by using binary if you're using TFF or other uh, with the compression less you maybe want to use um, none but I do recommend at least use it binary as most time and when you're working with the bump materials and you're using bump material example same as an image it will be very important in this case to use a binary it will smooth those edges otherwise you will see all those kind of squares going all over places okay so right here we kind of set up um, next let's go back to these dots and also see right here so we have a binary even this PNG file with a transparency uh, next what if you want move or adjust again be sure your object parametric your scale set to one same as right here if you decrease scale you'll notice it will affect in some cases so let's keep it just one scale next if you wanted to adjust image scale for example if you want offset if you want to rotate or do other options okay so let's work on this couple things the one to adjust this layer for example you want to have an image scale modify or offset when you offset image be a little bit careful because the, it's work with the units to understand what units you have it you can go to file options units and coordinates and right here you can see one unit it's represent so it's one meter if you want to decrease you can put it 0 0.1 in this case in this case you will be a little bit more gentle when you adjust slightly moving and you can see right here how much it is already moving quite a bit in this case so let's go ahead option and I want just to reset this back Okay, so the uh, image offset we can set 0 0.01 just slightly offset and you can see it's adjusting okay we can put it five so it's a little bit better okay as well in this image um let's go ahead and kind of switch this so we can preview a little bit better okay also you'll notice in a color adjustment the gizmo is not enabled and the reason why because it will work from function editor and you go right click go to edit function and right here you will have it show manipulation gizmo by clicking on this you can adjust your image 
now and repositioning base it on the um, location so you can adjust and right here you can see preview a little bit as well right here you can see how we adjust and reposition this image so you can do through the uh, manipulation gizmo manipulation gizmo is also will work on the below layer so for example if we have it image right here we can use the manipulation gizmo this way and readjust positioning or rotation use it our gizmo so it will apply to our image as well you can also notice when we did it through the um, function editor it does update our angle and as well as an image offset and position for our layer the other things to pay attention also it is mapping mode and tiling in many cases you actually don't want to use a thematic you maybe want to use it flat or faces depend which one automatic will work well for most of them but if you see some stretching mostly on a mountain on a side you maybe want to switch this as well repeating or mirror or once example if of course we're going to once and we'll using offset on an image Let me offset it more okay, on this one set once you'll notice it is kind of start moving away let me bring back slightly so right here we have our image offset set for the our terrain and in some cases I do set telling once when I want to be sure this image is set properly and it does not repeat it itself because otherwise you will kind of very hard to see when you start adjusting or how much you're moving on this okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com